It's not quite two years since the last U.S. troops left Iraq. Relief for America at the end of a long, unpopular war and an opportunity, they said, for Iraq to go it alone. This is a time for Iraq to look forward. This is an opportunity for Iraq to forge ahead on the path to security and prosperity. But the path so far seems to have led backwards to scenes reminiscent of Iraq's darkest days and statistics that tell a gruesome tale. Back in 2008, it's thought almost 6,800 Iraqis died. That's a conservative UN estimate. The following three years saw a steady decline to a low of around 2,800, the year the Americans finally withdrew. But the numbers have climbed ever since. Already this year, the figure stands at over 6,000. Once again, Baghdad is at the epicenter. In recent weeks, there have been several coordinated car bomb attacks in the capital. But other parts of the country are being affected too. In September, a rare attack in Arbil, up here in the Kurdish north. And in another worrying sign, the southern Shia-dominated city of Basra has also seen a surge in violence. What does all this point to? The country's politicians have their fears. We hope it will not develop, but there's a real fear that the conflicts could develop into a civil war. So who and what's responsible for these disturbing developments? Well, as always, the country is awash with militias and armed groups, Sunni and Shia, all jostling for political and geographic authority. The central government is weak and divided. But groups allied with al-Qaeda, once on the retreat, are also back with a vengeance, still capable of pulling off so-called spectaculars, coordinated mass casualty attacks like these ones in Baghdad. One of the largest groups is ISIS, the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. As the name suggests, they are operating in both countries. To make matters worse, the Iraqi military is weak. It lacks firepower and discipline. Its approach to counterinsurgency tends to rely on mass arrests and collective punishment. The new war in Syria has clearly breathed fresh life into the old war in Iraq. In the words of one UN official, the battlefields are merging. A decade of agony which shows no sign of ending.